Lord. Whenever I see another breaking all the day. All the day, I say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Whenever I see another breaking of the day, I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. When I think all the goodness of Jesus, Hallelujah. And all you have done for me, my very soul shall shout, Hallelujah, Jehovah God, praise God for saving me, for saving me. When I think all the goodness of Jesus, and all you have done. Oh, me, oh, daddy, God. My very soul shall shout. Hallelujah, Jehovah God. Praise God for saving me. Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, sirs. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Pastor Matthew. Club pastors, good morning to you all. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. You're welcome. God bless you. Um, so we, we'll be going into our prayer. Sorry, I'm coming late. I was... I was very, very tight yesterday. If I had no iota of rest from morning to night, from one program, church to impact, impact to prayer meeting to a night again and all that. So it was very hectic. I had to send message to Pastor Shagan yesterday. So I just trust God that in all of this, God will keep on to eventually make it to the paradise. God Amen. Amen. This is a pastor in deeper life can, can be very, very tight. We trust God to keep us, and God is just going to reward us. There was a prayer we prayed last week. Uh, pastor Matthew even took that prayer seriously because I took it, I bought it as a prayer point. And uh, I'm going to still write it like a text, like a testimony in text format so that. Uh, people can be encouraged on the platform as well, because sometimes when we tell people that God is hearing and answering our prayer on the platform, so it is still looking like, are you people a joker and all that? If Pastor Matthew will remember, I think Pastor Peter should remember that prayer that I said, uh, my friend uh, uh, who applied for a job. Yes, he's even he's, yes. He's, he's a head. Is is with me and uh, actually we keep on protocol and he's doing something to worry here for a while, and then he now secured something again in Portaco, Bonny Island, and then they began to toast him here and in fact the HM is the HR is like maybe it's not ready blah 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 and we brought the case here, so Pastor Matthew can remember I think Pastor Peter you can remember what I'm talking about yes now. sir yes sir. Uh, it, it that was be like three uh, weeks ago. Exactly, exactly. It was amazing how God answered that prayer. Something happened. So he came back. The, his wife put to bed. That was uh, Friday, every Saturday. So so he had to go back to Port Harcourt only for him to come yesterday. And he was <clears throat> he was telling me, they are the one now putting pressure on him. When are you resuming? In fact, as a matter of fact, he said on Friday, the HR was like, hey, your, your ID card is ready, and blah, blah. Ah, ah. And this is not a small, we're not talking of something, but in Bonny Island, for that matter. And they are not the one putting pressure. And when are you, it's like, God just want to honor someone, and uh, uh, 
like go go beyond the the in fact when he was just telling me yesterday i just understood i just told him that the way we also dealt with the prayer and the, the way our leader because i remember that day after i finished dropping the plan we prayed pastor matthew picked it up from there and he kept on talking on that issue talking on that prayer talking on that prayer and see what god has done for this brother and now it's going to be resuming of course soon because it's like uh somebody is looking for a job now they are even like oh yeah you resume now here and there so we want to thank god how god answer prayer requests that have been dropped uh i will also be encouraging people to share their testimony as they see what god has done they don't know what they are doing to others when they share testimony but unfortunately some keep what god has done and i will tell you why sometimes i will tell you there is this general belief in the church this one let me go to city one so there's this general belief. It was not there. I don't think it was there in those days. What is the general belief now? There are those who believe in the church now that when you share testimony, uh, some powers, this one, oh my God. These were things we don't even, we don't care about in those days now because we know we can't even be held by the powers of darkness. Who, who is that demon? Who is that something that we about now? Suspicion in the church, so you feel that once you share testimony, uh, something terrible can happen to you, and uh, so that's why you find the church today something will be happening to a particular pastor, a brother. He is not ready to even share the good thing because he is scared. <laughs> he is scared that he can be attacked. He is scared that uh, that thing can fly away and it will not work out. Is is scared of virtually everything, and the same person will still come and preach. Don't fear, and all of that. We don't practice many of the things that we probably talk about to people. So that's why you find people not sharing testimony in some places. So they will rather just keep it to themselves or share it with some a uh, few people. Uh, hey, the brother is even is is here. He wants to go to work. He just is late. He would have used his mouth to share the testimony himself. So, but I'm just sharing it with us now to show that God actually answers prayer. So we want to give thanks to God this morning and honor the name of the Lord and praise him because of the way he hears us and he shares testimony, he, he, you know, answers our prayer. I was it not here that I share testimony of the of the uh, Western Pinnacle University where I lecture now. Uh, you can imagine now, even yesterday, we had that meeting and all of that. Uh, is it, all of this thing is God's mercy and goodness and, and answers to prayer. Let's express our profound gratitude and give glory and honor and adoration to God. Please shall we open our mouth and honor the name of the Lord. Father, we worship and bless your name for the gift of life. Thank you for the privilege to be here. Well, thank you for the testimony we are hearing. We are sure enough that you are God that answered prayers. Oh Lord, God, now we worship and bless your name for everything you'll be doing amongst us. We say glory, honor, adoration, thanksgiving be unto your name, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for this testimony has lifted up my heart this morning that of a truth you answer it prayer. Oh Lord God, now we worship and bless you. I go worship and reference your name for the privilege to be Let's part not, of this. Let's God worship. Said, Let's thank you. Your Let's Lord, give... I two or three are gathered in my name. There I am in the midst of them. Though we are not that they are not hundred, they are not three hundred. Are not 300. Father, are God, not... God. No. it's one of those things now. No, we that should show be here enough. you answer it us. We adore you, we worship you, we bless you, we say glory, honor, and we shall thank you be unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay. Amen. I want to pray this morning and go before the Lord and ask him uh consigning some of our brethren on the platform. Obviously, there are those who keep dropping 
similar prayer request every now and then. And, and you are wondering, has God not done this for them? Has God not done this thing for them? I want to pray in the precious name of Jesus as I go to the platform now to pick some few prayer requests. But then we're going to just pray as many who are going through some issues. And we've been praying. We've been telling God, even among our pastors, the God of heaven will bring an end to delay to the answers to prayer. Some delays are not ordinary. Why some delay? Like I explained to uh, my congregation yesterday, I was trying to tell myself because it has happened to me several times. There are times you just pray, instant answer. I mean, instantly, the thing will just hit you. Instantly, like this, it will hit you. So you will. And then I was telling them that does God not hear? He do, of course, of course, he's hearing. He can hear you clearly. But what does he want? What does he want you to do? He's trying to make you develop momentum. There's a timing. There are times that God will be watching this thing. You, you upgrade your prayer. Upgrade it a little. Up, come up a little. Take it higher a little. And then some people will say, I have done everything I could. I say that's like you have not done everything you could. All those I have done everything I could. Uh, have you have you added fasting? And even when you have added fasting, how did you take the prayer? Sometimes God would be expecting that the person press further, press further, press further. It, it's like what we have in chemistry. In, in, in chemistry, there's what we call series. You have a layer, a lima series layer, bama series layer, ashan series, bracket series and p series. So somebody could be praying at the Lima series layer, which is the lowest series. And then he has been enjoying an answer to pray at the Lima series. And God is saying, no, I can't leave you at this Lima. <laughs> you can not remain in the Lima series Christian. Why not come up higher a little at the Bama? And then he's praying, he's still remaining there. And then he realizes, I need to step up a little. And he comes to the Bama series. And then he gets the answer to his prayer. And then after some time, some needs come. And at the Bama series, he's not able to get that answer. And God will be expecting, oh, yeah, still come up higher a little, and then I will answer you. That's why you find some people, they will pray and pray and pray until they get the answer to, until that thing they are looking for is in their hand. It becomes something tangible. Uh -huh. There are people, they will pray, pray, pray until, but they, they pray to a point where, there is a download, a downpour from heaven. Literally, it's like heaven will just tear open. Their life become better. Their family become better. Situation become better. That is what is expected. That's why we can't stop coming here. That's why we can't get tired. Whether people are joining, whether people are coming, whether people are joining, or whether we are many or not, it doesn't have to do with many. But it has to do with sincerity and persistence in the place of prayer. I'm telling you, whether we are five, whether we are two, whether we are four, whether we are 10, whether we are 20, it's not about majority. In fact, in prayer, it has to do with willingness. It has to do with willingness. It has to do with sincerity. We want to go before God this morning, whatever delay. If there are delays that are not ordinary, God will yank it off this morning. If there are delays that are by the powers of darkness, God will yank it off this morning. If there are delays that are orchestrated, from Coven, from Marine Kingdom, the Lord will shatter them in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? But then, heaven will come before you this morning. We well, thank you because you are God that answered prayer. We adore your name, O Lord, because we know that you gave us your Son Jesus Christ. That through His name, anything we ask, you will be, you will be granted. And Lord, God, now we are be granting our prayers. You will be answering us, O Lord, God, now we adore you. Name for the privilege. Golaya, oh my God. We ask you to call upon, to cry unto. O Lord God, now we worship you. We are going now, we bless you. We say glory, honor, adoration, and thank you be unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for the privilege to even be called by your name. Oh, we are going to take away all the deliver your power. Lord, we Lord, 
I pray this morning. For you, Lord. Father, I pray, O oh Lord, that you break upon this vehicle. Father, touch this vehicle. Pray that for all. When you throw out the night, say, God, do something that is um, 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 that you want to be part of what actually happened. Oh Lord, Jesus. Lord, do, oh Lord that we talk everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We want to go before the Lord. Number one, we are going to pray because this is a uh, 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 marriage home and all of that for every uh, uh, Monday morning like this. We want to pray for oh, their family. They have been married. In fact, I know so many families, so many who have been married and, and no issue. And husband and wife, they are being together. I told us of one last week, and we are still going to pray for her. She was it last week. Okay, yeah, it was it last week. I told her two weeks ago, and then I sat her down, and then I needed to interrogate her as a leader. What is the problem? You are stuck down. You are, you are not at what she used to be. She's discouraged. It's completely in fact to her marriage is like a punishment to her. Come on, this is a young sister. It's not that I'm talking to an elderly person, no. I'm talking to a young sister, and then using this kind of language that marriage punishment, how could that be because of certain issue? And there are people like that who are going through some unpalatable experiences, and they see marriage like a torture. It ought not to be. It ought not to be. But then it ought not to be. They want to pray. As many who have been married, no issue. They have been married, and it's like, Everywhere just blocked. Block literally that uh, 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 you are wondering the husband is okay, the wife is okay. What exactly is not delaying? What exactly is causing the delay? I want us to know that there are delays that are orchestrated from COVID. There are delays that are not ordinary. You know, when some people stretch or all things work together for good, and then they, they feel that every delay is orchestrated by God. That is not true. That is not so that cannot be there are delay orchestrated by the devil there are delay that are orchestrated by other power i'm telling you the truth we want to pray as many oh god who are having delay in this issue of childbearing and the, the scripture say that they, there shall not be barren in the land we are praying now these people that we know no barren. We call the name of the Lord Jesus that the God of heaven will reach out to all our brethren and give them the fruit of the womb. Give them their own job, the baptism. Give them their own Samuel. Give them Holy Father, their own son. Give them the children that they desire in the name of Jesus Christ. Barrenness was something very strange in the scripture. How we will bring our brethren that have been married for... Yeah. And we yeah. saw... In Jesus, precious name, we pray. Amen. 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 Now, another issue again. Now we have there was problems that are having issue. Even the one that the woman had been taking, haven't we had testimony during the JCK that even with 
that womb, you wonder who the baby is for you. I'm telling you, God has no impossibility. With God, there is nothing like, oh, this thing is impossible. Never, never with God. God is too big a God, too great a God, too mighty and powerful. He will create anything from anywhere. I'm telling you. And so we trust God that all those delays in their life, we will see them come. I remember one like that, that uh, in my family here, yeah, we kept on because we used to mention their names sometimes. Then we'll be praying, praying, oh God, oh God. As soon as we saw that that one had been visited, I had to go there myself and do the courses for the naming and all that. That family now, second baby has come to. And that is it. We have to remove that one from the prayer now. And then we know that others who are praying for the Lord God will visit them as well. I'm telling you, as we are praying here, God will visit. Must be encouraged by the testimony I shared this morning. God answers prayer. I'm telling you, there are testimonies we can tell that we can say that this is something that God did. God answers prayer and is going to visit them mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray again for as many who are having children and the children are not born again. Let me read scripture quickly. They are having children and those children are not saved. Those children are wayward. And not because the parents are not doing their best. It's like Satan trying to attract the children and wanting to waste them and destroy them like the prodigal son studied yesterday. You, you see, when you look at the scripture, the scripture talks about our children that, uh, you know, taught righteousness. And there are children that have been taught. It's when you go to the campus, you will not discover that guy that is behaving like a Christian at all. In the, in the school, is completely the opposite. And then you wonder what exactly happened and all that. And so we are calling upon God in Isaiah chapter 54, verse 12. And I will make our uh, verse 13. And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord. Amen. They shall Amen. be the peace of thy children. He said, Great shall be the peace of thy children. In righteousness shall thou be established. We want to cry before God. Our children will be taught of the Lord. They will follow the Lord. They will follow the Lord. Oh, Jesus, my children will follow the Lord. My children will follow the Lord. Lord in heaven, I bring my children before you. The children, the children. My children will be godly. My children will be brave. My children will be great in the kingdom of Lord. Lord Jesus. I bring them before you. I say, Lord, visit my children, Lord. Oh, Lord, visit my children, Lord. For that of me. In the name of Jesus, we bring all our children, oh Lord, before your throne of mercy this morning. Father, we pray, oh Lord, you are a God that answer that prayer. Father, answer all and make our children what they ought to be, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, God, now we pray that. that uh, Children will serve you. Our children will serve you. Every spirit of danger, every spirit of that day that is operating in the church today, we come against this. We pray that you come to the Lord. Thank you, 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 Spirit of God, visit our children, Lord. Do something new in their life, Father. Do something new in their life. Do something new in their life. And let them surrender to turn unto you, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Imagine a child, imagine a child who was sent to school. It is a current I'm um, um, and it's quite pathetic, very, very pathetic. Very, very pathetic. And then the leader was like, okay, this was a youth, a youth that I was in their district many years ago, they gained admission. 
So I was expecting, okay, oh yeah, I graduated, and the mother reached out to me, and he was like, this boy is not coming to the house at all. As in, the, like, like a child will go to school now, and then you come maybe semester break, or maybe after the session, you just come to see your family. Ah, by SA year, and you cannot come to the house for free, and all that. So eventually, and we knew, we knew quite well that, okay, because it's not a judgment about for the salvation of Christ. And the, and the woman, is, the mother is trying her best. That's a I mean, God, that's a best. But eventually, look at what happened. That child gained admission, electric. But he was influenced by Christ in school. Now, he's so pathetic. In fact, I'm sure even Pastor Jego will be surprised what he wants to do. Now he said he has finished. Okay, to him he has finished. To him he has finished. But he now went to church. He said, "Why doing protest and all that?" And all that. And he was telling me that like, uh, He now realized that he has been with John since on the level. Can you imagine? So how are you writing exam? Two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five. How, how have you been writing exam? The mother has been paying school fees, paying school fees, paying school fees, paying school fees. Those are kind of things that can make some parents to have hypertension. You know, I have to encourage the mother, I have, because now the boy is now remorseful now. So if this one will lead to his conversion experience, well, we should thank God for it. Because he, he went a wire, fellowship, no way, in school. And now he's, he's confessing, now he's opening up now. Okay, so all the way we're trying to reach you, to know how serious and all of that you were hiding, you wouldn't tell us anything. Now the chiefs are down now, and then you are you are, how can it be that you are well withdraw from under level and you are telling me you did not know? It's not possible. It's not. And so I just have to like, okay, just encourage the mother and all of that. And say, so, okay, this is the way out. And we have to put because you cannot be dwelling on problem, on problem, on problem. What is the way out? And that's what I just put far and I discuss with the mother. Okay, let's go this way and all that. It will start from another level, from another department, and all that. And then we discuss it like that. But it's quite painful. So the mother will now have to start paying again another fresh school fee. We are going to pay in the name of Jesus as many with children who are giving them headache, hypertension, pain, and agony. The only ghost will arrest them. We will not have children that will end up in hell fire. We will not have children that will cause us headache. Do you know what it means? In this uh, kind of heaven, we come before your throne of mercy. We bring this our children, Lord, before you. We pray, oh Lord, that you make our children children that will encourage us, children that will uh, push us to serve you the more, not children that will make us almost cross God. Oh Lord, you never imagine this young man will drawn from hundred level and saying he did not know. What is he telling that? He knew that he was not getting results in 200 level. In, even in 100 level, he did not get results because he was withdrawn. And yet, he's been in school, collecting fees, saying, I'm in school, I'm in school, and now his mates are graduated. He's now being remorseful. But that we pray that you use this to drag him to yourself, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, in this opportunity to arrest him. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we start that we that we pray that you will help him, oh Lord, this to live. God will save him. God will deliver him. Oh Lord, be serious. Let Jesus Christ, him. let the Lord save him. Let the Lord save him. Let the Lord save him. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh Jesus, to save in his life, oh Lord. Amen. Now, we help him to do well, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Happy to be Amen. 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 Want to pray? I'm 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 showing scripture in uh Job 36. Job, this aspect of prayer is very, very, very important. In Job 36. I'm reading verse 11, Job 36. Uh, now, why, why do we live prayer like this? Because sometimes there are people who spiritualize things. 
and uh, in the family we need money as a matter of fact uh, not having money to take care of the family can be highly frustrating and uh, sometimes even the intimacy between husband and wife can be hampered upon i'm telling us the truth nothing more but the truth can be hampered upon when there is hardship and suffering and all that it affects even the children but look at scripture look at the promises of god if they obey verse 11 if they obey and serve him they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure when we are praying and we, we read scripture and we take it to god god see what you say if i obey is there area i've been disobeying you but your word says if i obey obey what obey your commandment obey your instruction follow your way and i serve you look at your word i've been serving you but you said i will spend my days in prosperity is that possible yes it is yeah. i'm years in pleasure but lord in my family prosperity had not been there all this year we have not been pleasure but penury suffering and pain you want to cry to god to change that situation this scripture must be fulfilled in the life of all our pastors this scripture must be fulfilled in the life of all our members and workers this scripture must be fulfilled upon the life of everyone who join us to pray in the name of jesus if they obey and serve, they will spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure shall we pray Father in heaven, we come before your throne. Father, we come with your word this morning. You have said your word that if we serve you, if we obey and serve you, we spend our days in pleasure. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you will visit every one of us. Pray in this prayer platform, you will visit us and help us, O oh Lord, fulfill this word in our life. Let us spend our days in pleasure and our years in prosperity. Father, prosper the work of our hand. This spirit that uh, of the world that is always disturbing your people, walking, walking like elephant, but eating like an ant. It's not your will, O oh Lord. Father, we pray that you visit us, O oh Lord, and do something new in our lives, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Prosper our businesses. Prosper the work of our hand. Promote those that are working. Oh Lord, go in heaven like the testimony this morning. Let our organizations know the our pattern. The Lord in Jesus' name. Visit your people, Lord. Visit your people, Lord. Father, visit your Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm, take, I'm taking, I'm taking, I'm taking, uh, Proverbs uh, chapter 5, Proverbs verse 15. Chapter 15. In Proverbs 5, 15. Remember, morning, Sunday morning, it's on marriage, it's on home, it's generally marriage, home, and the in Proverbs 5, 15, drink waters out of thy own system, and running water out of thy own well. Now, this verse of scripture has a lot of interpretation. But the interpretation I am after this morning is the interpretation of intimacy between husband and wife drink waters out of thy own system not someone else's system and running waters out of thy own well there's a running water i have preached and i've spoken you know uh, pastor matthew is actually my friend on facebook so he sees my post because i write a lot on facebook and i wrote at the time, one woman is enough for you. And I gave my reason, I had to explain. And I gave the danger. All this one, they say, okay, I see a lady, I'm after the lady, uh, I lost her. Uh, that, uh, 
Uh, you just told me. You just told me. What's happening now? Sometimes you hear story or hope. Oh. story or oh. hope. Please, sorry, can you hear me? Please, sorry, can yes, you hear sir. me? We are hearing yes, you. Sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, There's an echo. I'm hearing my echo. I'm hearing my Okay, so sometimes you hear issue of, oh, it was that woman that brought that man of God down. It was that, uh, it was Delilah that brought something down. Th th those things are not really, uh, when you say Delilah brought something down, it's not even, it's not the right way to put it. It was lost that brought something down, lost, lost. It was lost that brought something down, so lost. Something had a problem he did not cure until he met with Delilah. It was his own lust that wasted him. And so there are people who fail to cure their lust when it's emanating until they become a monster. And then he say, oh, it was a mistake. I just fell into sin. That's a lie. Nobody suddenly fall into immorality. There's nothing like that. Other like that, they don't get to... You don't fall, suddenly fall into sin. It's a gradual. That's why I teach my student. I, I said it begins number one with attention to that brother or to that sister. When attention becomes too much, it genders emotion. We are emotional beings, and when emotion is, it leads to what we call uh, affection. You just naturally love that brother, naturally love that sister, that woman, and the affection will not. Think about infatuation. Infatuation will lead to fornication. But it begins with attention. Attention, attention. After service, that brother. After service, that sister. After he said, they say, I like the way Kwamata talk. I like the way uh, this one talk. I like little by little. If you don't guide your art, because our art generally gravitate towards the direction where you feel loved and welcome. If that brother is a soft spoken person, your heart will be gravity. That's why, that is the more reason why husband and wife must be very intentional about the love in the home. So that the woman is not tempted when he's talking to, uh, and then he's talking somewhere. And it's wondering a man could be talking softly like this, caring like this. Because he knows, she knows at all that she married a monster who is not caring. If she knows at all, uh, or it could be a man. And then he knows at that, that the wife is a monster, a lioness, who does not care. And yet the man, and then he's seeing the lady in the office, showing care, showing care, real care, and then not knowing that there is an agenda. That's why we need to help our spouse and drink water out of our own system. This is one of the things destroying marriage. This is one of the things that is killing many homes. The husband is not drinking enough out of the system, out of the system. The wife is being denied, not drinking enough. And she's longing, but the man is not available. He's longing, but the woman is not available. There are people that need to repent from this area, from the boardroom, boardroom, if you understand that. There are people that need to literally repent of their attitude towards the boardroom matter. We want to go before God now and examine ourselves. Are we treating our spouse well? Are we drinking enough water that everyone can testify to it? You are treating this woman well. And then, are you treating? I'm going to come up with a series, maybe as God will permit me later on this aspect. Many are dying in silence and they cannot speak out. Why? Because they are in holiness church. They are in a church that if you dare talk, Things like that. Uh, uh, sister, sister. Now you they talk this one. But they cannot talk. But they are dying. If he's a pastor, his pastor, not a human being. He says, a pastor. I shall let that when he shall let you the one year. I bet some of those people, they don't actually know what they are saying anyway. So and you see that man suffering. You see that woman suffering. And she's dying in silence. And she's crying quietly, oh God. Some may even be wishing, he care is not taking. Maybe this man should go, or this man, woman should go, so that I can marry somebody else. God forbid it. God, for, God forbid it that your spouse is wishing you die.
because of the way you are treating him or her. God forbid it. Let's pray. We will treat our angel well. We will drink water well out of our own system. If you understand me, you pray and you check it up. Please come over to Father. Come before your throne of mercy. You've said in your word that we drink waters out of our own well. Oh Lord God, in heaven, the grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We were in confession one day, and then this sea pastor was with me. Then uh, GS was preaching, and then I did not remember, and I did not know when I said, uh, who is going to see that? Then well, I reacted to the GS message. Or oh, I think I reacted to GS message. Then the DC pastor said, uh, and that's why many of us are having secret sin. Uh, of all what kills believer most is secret sin. And then the pastor, you may talk about it. We are in the church whereby you confess to the people that uh, this thing is happening to me. I'm a woman being. Please listen to me. Immediately they will say you are backsliding. Uh, for a Christian, backsliding is not easy. A real Christian, I'm telling you, it's not a joke. Because there's no way you will go back there that your conscience Instead, you get to the state of apost as he has apost state or something like that. And backsliding is not easy. You Christianity is very sweet. It's good. We were talking about. I was talking to somebody today. No, <laughs> one of the popular musicians in Nigeria changed from Muslim to Christian. So I was listening. One of my musicians is a Fuji musician. That's all he was. I was listening to his interview. He was talking about when you are doing adultery, fornication, how it destroys home. Then it does not even, and then it takes your money. Uh, many of us, many of many people we are praying for, there's a lot that have happened during when they were young. They're very difficult. To disclose to many people that thing affects their marriage it affects their uh, relationship it affects the financial situation it affects a lot of things uh, we take many things for granted yes i will forgive you certainty is there but uh, I remember we are in the, uh, in the, uh, what is it, Ayobo, when the GS answer question about the, the sin, about HIV, that, yes, God will forgive you, but the scar will continue to be there. Many people live a, lo a very wrong life before they come to Jesus Christ. Uh, and the impact was there. Uh, uh, you can you imagine, thank God, uh, I'm not, not because of that, and I don't want us me to be misquoted, uh, the person did not do wrong, it's on me, have a certain uh, situation. The person that the, the, the womb was removed. Many of our no, do not let me say our sister. Many sisters, during when they were young, they have not married. They did abortion. Not one, not two, not three. Then the womb was totally destroyed. Yes, he accepted Jesus Christ. But tell me, how many people, if not like many of us, that many, many that can say, okay, I've done this during my young time, during where I was. 
they will be asking for prayer, they will be asking for prayer, except you are praying and you ask the spirit of prophecy, or I mean, uh, what's that spirit that you're able to say? Sister, during this period, did you do this, did you do this, did you do this? The same thing, man. Uh, okay, I, 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 think, I think I said you cannot, you can it's very difficult to proud of your thing. Then that's why the, the disciples was answer me. And that's why many people are having secret sin. Many things, many, 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 many of us are doing, which is a sin. And we find it difficult to say to the other people that this is what I've done, this is what I've done. Even when the repercussion comes, we find it to say, yes, this is what I've ever done. So we now go on behalf of many people that in that kind of situation. The Almighty Father, whatever that might have done, that is irreversible. The word of the Lord is greater than it. And the mercy of the Lord is existing. God is God of impossibility. I mean, God of possibility. There is nothing that is impossible before him. All he wants to do is nobody knows. We mm-hmm. call upon the name of the Lord for many people who are in this kind of situation. They find it to say the truth of what went wrong before they get to this state they are today and it is affecting them they they know but the period world they are contact they are contacting they do not know but we call upon the name of the Lord for people like that and their lack of children and their financial situation i don't want all the other maybe the bible even warned them that you don't do this they disobey the word of the Lord, but the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. The firm mercy will come from heaven and will fall upon those people who are in that kind of situation. And by the power and the blood of Jesus, God will forgive them their sin and will render mercy upon them and they will achieve their good in Jesus' name. Okay. Let us open our mouth. Let us open our mouth. Let us pray to God those people. So for those morning. people, we are asking for the firm intervention. We are us. asking for divine, the the divine forgiveness. Us, oh we are asking for the forgiveness of God, many of us that, that we went wrong. Went together, and God was cannot be saying, you say, bro, so you are the one that you have gone up to this. But the impact is there. But the consequence is there. And the brother is suffering. The sister is suffering. We we, we know the reason why. But how many people does he want to tell? All what you know is that coming to Jesus Christ and all your sins are forgiven. Yes, all your sins are going to be forgiven. But the, our leader, let us faith. know. The year your sin may be forgiven. The grace, oh but Lord, that you will not be yeah. We continue to be there. Father, pray, Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Lord. All in those who are in this of kind of Jesus. category. That Lord, is very that's difficult. For, you. for reconciliation, Father, uh, 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 reconciliation to be made. For the situation to be reversed. And they are being biting by what they have done in the in the past. We are asking for divine divine intervention. We are asking for divine forgiveness. We are asking for total forgiveness. We are asking for mercy of the law. We are asking for grace of the law. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. For all the family, for the individual, for the group that in that kind of situation, and they are being affected. Because of the past, and it's affecting their, it's affecting their present, it's affecting their future, it's affecting their children, it's affecting the wife, it's affecting the husband, but they cannot say the truth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the fine intervention will come, and that they will receive the mercy of the Lord. They are going to be forgiven, and the grace of the Lord will fall upon them. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pastor Yomi, Pastor Yomi, Pastor God in heaven, we are. We honor your name. We honor your name. We we lift your name. We lift your name for the word. Thank you for the testimony we shared. For our platform. Thank you because we know the one we have prayed this morning again, there will be testimony to your glory. We know you are God that answers prayer. The Bible says unto you shall all 
flesh come. And as we have prayed this morning, we know you have answered. And Lord, as our, sub, our leader led us again into this very aspect of prayer, the people whose past have been haunting them, haunting them very seriously. And some are even finding it difficult to own up. Like the story I read just a few days ago of someone hiding, a, sister, a lady hiding being an epileptic person. And she would have owned up. She would have told the person she wants to marry. And now they are married. And now the thing is causing the husband a lot of havoc, a lot of issue. And that's not something to eye. And now it's, it's, it's threatening the marriage, as I read from that post. Lord, I pray as many, oh God, who are hiding one thing or the other and it's causing them a lot, give them the courage to own up. Give them the courage to speak the truth. Give them Amen. the courage to confess and then to open up to their spouse where they have erred, where they have gone wrong. And then as they do, you will forgive, you will cleanse, you will purge, and you will purify in the Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And Lord, Amen. there will be miracle in such family. Amen. There will be in such family. Amen. And Lord, testimony in such family in Jesus' name. Amen. Go oh, into this week. We, we pray, oh Lord, this week we favor all. We are not coming back with bad news. We are mm -hmm. not coming with negative news. We are coming mm -hmm. back with good news. Hallelujah. Glory. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 The grace of our Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, the love, the love of God, God and the Holy Spirit, Lord, 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 be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God bless us and bless us all the all days, days of our life, and shall go in the house of the Lord forever Amen. and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Happy new year. Happy the end of the, the old week. God bless you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.